guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel for today before I get into the video make sure to give this a huge huge thumbs up if you love self tanners and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you love anything that has to do with self tanner or beauty in general you're gonna love my channel so make sure to subscribe but for today, we're going to be reviewing and demoing the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. And this one is in the color Dark. So this goes for about $40, I believe. And it has 120 milliliters or 4 fluid ounces. Same deal as the other Loving Tan self-tanner that I reviewed. This one is just a lot smaller than the rest of them and it's more expensive so that's just something that's kind of frustrating to me about this. Uh, on the back it says, well actually before that on here it says professional strength, natural olive color, quick dry, and bronzers. So it should dry pretty quickly and on the back it says that it should only take two hours. It says to apply moisturizer liberally to my dry areas. Obviously, I've already done that. It says allow 60 seconds before dressing, avoid perspiration or water, and it says to shower off after two hours. So we are not going to leave it on for three like I do with my other Express Tans. It says on here to leave it on for two and then wash it off. So I'm going to follow the directions. I'm also only going to do one coat. Alright, so of course I'm going to use my brush for my face. I'm going to shake this up, pump a little bit onto here. And now we're going to take our mitt. This is my new favorite. It's the one that came with the Tarte Brazilliance self tanner. So we are going to take this, pump some of it onto here, and work it into the rest of my body. Perfect, so I have applied to my face, my chest, and my arms. If you notice this kind of patchy area right here, it's because I was out in the sun for a longer period of time this past weekend, so my skin is starting to peel, unfortunately. It has nothing to do with the self-tanner, it's all me, so I am not judging it based off of this. First impression, it has that same smell as the regular Loving Tan, it's not bad, it doesn't bother me at all. I have no issues with the smell. Uh, the color itself is really, really beautiful, I think. The color barrier gives a very nice, natural looking tan. With the color barriers, it tends to kind of look crazy sometimes, and this just gives me a pretty natural look. I do think this comes off a little bit darker initially than the regular Loving Tan does, so that's something I noticed right away. But overall, so far, so good. I have no complaints as of right now. I'm really happy with how it applied and how quickly it did actually dry. So let's move on to my legs. Alright, now that I've finished my upper half and my legs, like I said before, my first impressions were that the smell is not bad. The color itself is really, really beautiful. It's already giving me a really nice, natural, beautiful tan. So I'm very happy with how it's turning out. 
It is quick drying. I don't feel too sticky or anything, so that's another positive. I don't really have any negative things to say for you guys at this point, so I'm gonna go apply the rest of my tan right now. I'm gonna give it two hours, I'll wash it off, and then I will be back with my final thoughts on the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the shade Dark. So I will see you guys in about three hours. All right, you guys, I am back. This is about three to four hours later, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I am absolutely obsessed with how this tan turned out, and I honestly can't believe how much I liked it. I loved the regular self tanner as well, but it still wasn't my number one favorite. I honestly have to say that I think as far as express tans go, this has to be my new favorite. At this point, I don't even care that it's expensive. Just the fact that it did such an amazing job on giving me such an even perfect tan. Like I just have to show you guys my hands. You guys know I usually have like that kind of dark coat around my knuckles, but this time my hands look like I just have a natural tan. It doesn't look like I'm wearing self tanner. I have absolutely no streaks anywhere. So completely streak free. The smell didn't bother me. It dried down so, so quickly. It literally said, wait 60 seconds, put your clothes on. That's what I did, and I didn't feel like I was wearing a self-tanner at all. Like, I just went about my day, cleaned up a little bit, did some things for a couple hours, and I didn't even feel like I had self-tanner on. I honestly forgot that I had it on at one point. That's how just normal it felt to me. So this just blew me away. I really can't believe how much I'm enjoying this. I will say that the lid is kind of messy like you can tell it kind of bled all over it's inevitable though you're gonna get some kind of mess with a spray tan because spray tanning is just messy in general some more some less that's okay though because the quality speaks for itself i don't know how it wears throughout the week i'll keep you guys posted on that but as far as the first impression goes I'm really, really, really happy with this. The smell wasn't too strong at all. The smell didn't really bother me at all. And plus, I only had this on for two hours. I know with most other Express tanners, they have you wear it for your darkest result for three hours. So it was nice to be able to cut a whole hour off of the application process. I think that's gonna make my in a hurry tan days a lot easier and a lot less time consuming. I know an hour doesn't seem like much, but when you're in a hurry and you need to just get things done in a short amount of time, an hour makes a huge difference. So that is very, very convenient. I'm just overall really, really happy with this. I think it turned out way better than I thought it was going to. I think the biggest thing that I can say is that the San Tropez, which used to be my favorite express tan, I believe that one goes for about $45. And it didn't make me nearly as dark as this one did, and I had that one on for that extra hour, for three hours. This made me so much darker. It gave me a much more even tan. I just think I look a lot more sun-kissed with this one than I do with that one. So I'm just overall really, really happy right now. If you guys have another Express Self Tanner that you want me to try, comment down below. This for right now is the winner as far as Express Tans go. So now I'm extremely excited to try some more of them out, but I'm really, really happy with this. That's all I have to say about it, guys. I don't want to drag the video out for too long because I'm just very, very happy. I love it. It's my new favorite for an express self tan. For regular self tan, Bali Body is still my number one, but this is my number one for express tanners. I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Show me some love. Make sure to comment. Like I said, let me know if there's any other ones you guys want to see me try. If you've tried this, let me know what you think. I'm absolutely obsessed. 
Make sure to share this with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love making these kinds of videos for you guys. I love comparing self tanners, trying new ones, expanding my horizons as far as self tanners go. I just think this is a really fun thing to do. So make sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.